Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the axial stiffness and we will be solving one example on this axial stiffness. As I made the video, the difference between the axial stiffness and the flexural stiffness, you can watch this video. I will give the link in the description. So in this lecture, we will be solving this problem uh, which is about the axial stiffness, it's how to find the axial stiffness of any column. So axial stiffness, uh, the simple definition is, uh, the stiffness can be defined as the load per unit displacement. The load acting on the object and the per unit displacement, unit displacement, this is known as the stiffness, unit displacement, right? While the axial stiffness means the ability to take the load of any uh, member in the axial direction. Axial means along the axis of the column. For example, along the axis of any member. For example, this is the column and when the load acts on this column, so it is axially loaded column because the load acts along the axis of the column. This is the axis of the column, so it is acting along the axis, so we can call the, the stiffness in this case will be the axial stiffness of this column. So let's come to the problem. It states that a column having length of 12 foot, the length is given which is 12 foot, is axially loaded with 100 kips load. Axially loaded means the column is axially loaded with 100 kips load. Find the axial stiffness of this column if the elasticity is the 30,000 KSI, kip per square inch, right? And this is the cross section of the column, that it is the square column of 10 into 10 inches and having the one end fixed and the other end is free. So it's like a cantilever column, you can say. So let's uh, come to solve this problem. So its solution will be like, the axial stiffness, the axial, the axial stiffness is a formula of axial stiffness is equal to the E A divided by the L. So what is E? E is given to us which is three, uh, 30,000. E is given to us which is 30,000 KSI here. So E is 30,000. All units should, should be in the same uh, standard, right? like in kips or inches, it should be converted into inches because it is, it is in foot now. Area is, area, area, area of this column can be found out by the cross section which is uh, 10 into 10. So area can be found 10 into 10, it is equal to the 100 inches square, right? It is also in the unit of inches, while the length divided by the length of the column. The length is, is in unit of foot, so I will convert this into inches. So 12 foot, so by multiplying it with again 12, so I will convert into inches, it will become 144 inches, right? So all the units are now same. Uh, so come to now putting these all values in this formula, I will find the axial stiffness of this column. So by putting all these values in this formula, so axial stiffness, axial stiffness, will comes out to E is 30,000, and to area is 100, divided by the length of the column which is 144 inches so axial stiffness comes out to be uh, 2833 kips per inches right because the unit was kip uh, in the case of the load and the in the case of the displacement the unit was used here was inches so may, it means that the axial stiffness of this column found out to be 20833 kip per inches it means that the 20,833 kilo pound force is required to produce a unit displacement in this column. If the unit displacement, if this is the one inch displacement, right? One inch. So how much force is required? The 20,833 kilo pound force is required to produce a unit displacement. This is the definition of the axial stiffness that how much load is required to produce a unit displacement when the force is easily loaded. So we come out that the 20,000 force is re almost 21,000 force kilo pound is required uh, to produce a unit displacement in this axially loaded column, having one end fixed and the other end is free and having the length of 12, uh, 12 foot. And the cross section should be 10 into 10 inches. So that will be the axial stiffness of this column. Hope you guys understand the axial stiffness. Uh, and I will also make the other video on the flexural stiffness uh, so this was all about the today topic and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.